Hey everyone, it's Stuart here. And in today's video, we are going to explain what the four main types of ads are that you can set up and create in Google Ads. Now, just before we get going with today's tutorial video, consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and don't forget to tap that bell icon to receive all the tutorials and tips from this channel. And with that out the way, let's get into it. Let's get started. The most common and frequent type of Google ad that most people see is a search-based ad. And that pops up when somebody does a search for a particular keyword. In this example, I'm using MKM Originals as a search keyword. And as you can see, if we scroll in, there is a search ad that appears as a result. This includes one of the keywords that we look for, as well as an extra headline that goes with it. Normally, you will see anywhere from one to three headlines appear up at the top, as well as some description text underneath it. There are also some extra site link extensions right underneath that. And the good thing about search ads is that they serve their purpose of sending your website to the top of a Google search. A very useful tool, particularly if you are operating in a competitive industry. Now, as I was explaining search-based ads, your eyes may have drifted over to the right-hand section right over here. These are what are known as shopping ads. So there is the product, there is the description and outline of what the product is, the price of that particular product, as well as the company who sells it. Now you can see here that there is also a little catch underneath it, which says free delivery with purchase. These shopping based ads are similar to the experience that someone would have if they were going into an actual shop and browsing through the different products. And if we zoom out again, you can see that there is a wide range of these products available. Up next, we have display ads. And display ads are essentially a portable digital billboard you can use to show your business services and products across over 3 million sites throughout the world. You can see here, Spark is currently running a display ad right now in the vertical format. You can also do a horizontal format display ad, and you can do a smaller character one. And if we scroll down below, you'll see that here is an example of that right here. And the great thing about display ads is that they effectively provide you with an opportunity to constantly target people who may be interested in your products and services. And particularly if you want to target people in particular cities, countries, and areas, display ads are great to get the message out about your business. And finally, you can create video advertising campaigns on YouTube through Google Ads. One of the great things about video ads with YouTube is that it can be quite versatile. For example, you can put a video in front of another video with a target audience who may be interested in your products or services. So in this example here, Stuart Gold provides actionable business tutorials for small to medium business owners. The person advertising on his channel is MYOB, who are targeting people that need help with their taxes. A great placement and a job well done by their advertising team. You can also do in-feed videos like the one here, which monday.com has, where a video appears and people simply click through on it to watch and find out more, or they can click the Start Now button and go straight to their website. Two of the most common types of video ads which run on YouTube through Google Ads. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got a lot of value out of it. Once again, if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel and want ongoing marketing tutorials and tips. We post new videos 
every single week. And if you have any questions about the content that was covered in today's video, you can always leave a comment down below and I'll aim to answer your questions as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next tutorial video. Bye for now.